Welcome to another E3 Dewey lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at the access stairs and ladder in E3D. We will be creating a platform on the structure that we have done before and we will create a stairs to access this platform. I am Kiam Sing. Are you ready? Let's get started. We will be creating the platform on the last two frames of our structure. I'm going to show you how I use the creep functionality so that we can visualize the area that we want to create the platform better. You use the current selection to the structure model. Next, I'm going to use local coordinate. As my platform is 3 meter high, I'm going to bring the local coordinate to 3000 in the up direction. Next, I'll use project snaps into LCS, which means that every section that I create will be at the height of 3 meters. I select the beam for the platform and the justification, which is C top. Now what I'll do, I'm going to select the P-line on the columns. So I select the C-bottom and C-top of the two columns and string the new platform beams together. For the shorter beam, I'll be using the right neutral axis and the left neutral axis as reference. It is better to hover over the place where you want your center of rotation so that you can get to the place that you want faster. You can click on the middle button to center the view. Now let's finish the last beam that we need to create to support our platform. Use the prompt to help you in selecting the point. Next, we are going to create the platform using place. Now you can choose the thickness of the plate and we are using the rectangular method to create the rectangular plate using two points. Now we are going to adjust the end points of the panels. And for this, I'm going to use the position X command. So what I'll do is that I will freeze two of the directions and choose the extend the east direction. We want to find the new east position and we can just uh, lock the north and up position and select the east position. As the platform is symmetrical around the center, I can copy the coordinate of the east or east-west direction. And I will continue to update the rest of the points in this panel. Next, we're going to touch up the corner of this panel and we are going to create a penetration at the corner. I'm going to create a negative rectangle and I select the panel and the two points that meet out of the rectangle. So to repeat the command, I can use the space bar to go to the next command and continue to do 
the penetration. With the platform done, we are now going to create the railings on the platform. First, the three sides of the platform. For the ASL, I'm going to store in a new framework. With the storage base set, we are ready to create our ASL. Let's start by creating the handrail. First, we have to select the standard to be used for this handrail. In this case, I choose ISO 442, which comes with the software. The standard will constrain the measurements of the handrail. In this lesson, I will touch on the layout method or the layout mode. In the layout mode, we will not go into details of all the geometry in our ASL. So as we go through each panel to input the information, the most important one is the root definition. And you can pick the two points that defines the handrail root. With all the panels already completed, we can build the handrail. The handrail that we build is a bit too close to the column, so let's do some modification. We use the modified handrail to do this. What we need to do is to redefine our route. And before we can do that, we have to select which is the floating point that we want to correct. We select the first floating point and we can edit the first floating point. I'm going to use the distance facilities so that I can give a distance of 150 along the edge that I'm going to select. You can see that when I select the edge, it will be 150 from the end of the edge. And we do the same for the other end as well. So first select the routing point and we select the position that we want this new routing point to be. So let's modify the handrail. We are going to use the same method to create the handrail for the two sides. Next, we'll create a stairs and handrail for the front of this platform. As the stairs 
exit the clip region, I just do an unclip so that I can see the plan of the platform. So let's use the stair flight to create the stairs. We use layout mode and the same standard for our handle, and the width is 800. Let's pick the edge for the from location and I use the column as a reference and I can modify the position after I pick it so that I get the exact 2500 from the center of the platform and I can move it further south Next I pick the two locations which is the beam below the platform We can check the position and just change to the correct position that we want. Now that the reference points are defined, we can pick the stair configuration we want. And as you click through the configuration, you can see the graphics change. This looks like the configuration that we want and we can also decide whether we want handrail and for this case we want handrail on both sides and we are ready to create the flight of stairs We continue to create the handrail for the front of the platform We use the same methods as before We select the two points on the front of the platform Next, we will create the opening for this handrail and we change the width to 1000 slightly bigger than the 800 width of the stairs and we just have to select the center of the platform for the center of the opening Once that is done, we can build the handrail That's it, we have finished our platform with handrail and stairs Hope to see you again. Bye.